All right, so I, I think I got this, this is on? Okay, it's on, all right, cool. First time using the camera, so I'm excited, but at the same time nervous, not sure if I'm really doing this right. But anyways, uh, my name is Kita Sean, and uh, welcome to my very first Q&A video. So I actually got a lot of questions from you guys, both YouTube, Twitter, and even Discord. And uh, to be honest, I actually got a lot of FGO related questions, which is not a bad thing, but uh, I mean, I, I get it. I'm mainly known as an FGO content creator, but it'd be really cool to see some other questions other than FGO in the future when I do another Q&A video. But let's go ahead and uh, answer your questions. Ki ki kitakubu. <laughs> Kawaii. Um, to be really honest, I've been meaning to change my opening for a while now. I just... I'm not good at animation so if you are really good at animation like you know how to make like an opening video or you know someone that knows how to make an animation video it'd be really awesome if you guys tell me because I would love to hire that person or you to make me a really cool opening video for my videos. Which FGO event would you like to have an anime adaptation? Mm, that's honestly a really hard one because there are a lot of events that I really like, but if I were to choose one, probably Oku or Guda Guda 3. What kind genre of games you played? What your favorite titles in these genres? Uh, I play all kinds of genres, honestly. RPG, action, rhythm games, racing games, puzzles, and so on. But uh, my all-time favorite is definitely RPG. I'm, I'm a complete RPG guy. Uh, I like playing uh, video games on my own time kind of thing and of course streaming but like I, li I like that solo play but um, if I were to pick RPGs definitely Valkyria Chronicles and Jonah Vadikidia if you guys have been following me uh, for the longest time then you guys know I'm a huge huge fan of that series of course the typical Final Fantasy Dragon Quest uh, recently I've been getting into the Kisiki series uh, I guess Trails of Cold Steel is probably more familiar for those newer fans I guess you can say but uh, I've been getting back into that so I'm currently playing uh, Zittle no Kisiki right now on stream so if you guys want to check me out on uh, my streams link is down below I also upload all my videos of gameplay from my streams or just recordings onto my YouTube gameplay channel, Kita Games, which link is down below as well. But other than the typical titles, the Shining series is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, Devil May Cry, um, Ark the Lad, and so much more. Do you have many hobbies? Too many, honestly, and they're all expensive. <laughs> um, being a nerd, you, you know, you, you get into a lot of expensive hobbies. Uh, video games, of course, manga, anime, uh, Gumpla, card games, like you're all your typical otaku nerdy type hobbies, but I am into sports as well. Uh, I love uh, hockey, basketball, um, baseball, football, and uh, I'm a huge bouldering guy as well. I actually do go uh, rock climbing, um, but you know, right now the, the whole pandemic is going on, so I haven't really been going to the gym at all to climb but once the whole pandemic does uh, calm down I am planning to go back to the gym I've been itching to climb for the longest time so yeah like I, I really want to climb <laughs> what is the reason you started a channel with FGO content um originally I was planning to create a channel just to do YouTube things like vlog and even focus more on the anime side like news showing off anime merchandise and all that good stuff but I didn't really have the confidence to do that so FGO was like a icebreaker for me like it helped me gain confidence it helped me learn how to edit videos and make videos and stuff like that um, so yeah I, I have to thank FGO a lot for helping me get into the whole YouTube game and um, yeah it's still fun to this day to make FGO content but uh, I definitely want to make different stuff like skits which I've been doing um, talk about you know anime and news and such like that so uh, you can definitely expect more uh, more videos that are non related to FGO especially with this new camera that I got does FGO need a big refreshing gameplay change to be really honest I'm 50-50 on this topic. FGO is a story first type mobile game and I don't think a lot of people know that. Like the current gameplay uh, exists so that anyone can get into the game easily. It's like 
basically, um, like for example, the voice actresses like Kosumi Ayako and Yuki Aoi, they're not really too good at video games. So uh, for them to just, you know, be able to read the story, they give them easy gameplay so that, you know, they can read the story basically. But um, at the same time, I do kind of wish to see a uh, different type of gameplay style. I mean, during last year's fifth anniversary, Nissan Kanoyoshiki, the director for FGO, uh, did say that they are working on different types of gameplay styles for FGO. So, uh, hey, they might actually be developing something for the future for the game. So we just have to wait and see. Favorite foreigner servant? Uh, definitely Hokusai. Are you Japanese, half blood, full blood? I am half Japanese, half Indonesian, and I was born here in uh, the United States. How long have you been playing FGO? Since the beginning. Read Tsukihime ever? Yeah, I have. Why are JP server players saying that FGO is dying? Because they're dumb. Do you also play Arknights? I do not. What's your favorite seiyu in FGO? Uh, as of right now, um, Toyama now. What do you think about SMT and Persona series? I would love to see you suff, I mean, play SMT. Uh, I think it's an interesting uh, series and I've been meaning to get into it. I've only really played Persona 5 and Persona 3, which I don't even remember anything from Persona 3 because I played it when it first came out. But um, no, I I've been really, interested in the Persona series and, you know, Shin Megami uh, Tensei, so uh, definitely you can expect me to play those games in the future. Do you think FGO JP will end soon? If so, what will happen after it? I don't think it's going to be ending anytime soon. I mean, Nissan did say that he plans to keep FGO going on for years and years and years. Not sure how long, but if it does end, um... I do feel like there's going to probably be a huge update in FGO uh, or again possibly like an FGO 2 like uh, Nasu said uh, in an interview but again we, we'll ju we just have to wait and see. What was the most memorable moment in FGO for you and the saltiest one as well? Most memorable? Uh, probably when I cried during the FGO 5th anniversary stream when they uh, played the opening animation with uh, Sakamoto Maya the Yakudo. That really hit me. That that made me realize how much I loved FGO and uh, the community as a whole. And the saltiest moment, definitely the Gilgamesh rolls. I still regret rolling so much and putting so much money for Gilgamesh back in the day. What's your favorite anime genre and favorite anime in that genre? Mm, ah, there's a lot. The I actually have a lot of favorite animes, and um, I mean, honestly, I'm a very open guy when it comes to genres. I don't care what genres they are. If they're interesting, they're interesting. Cooking, uh, seinen, shonen, shoujo, um, mecha. Like mecha, I gotta go with like the Yusha series, Gundam, Macross. Uh, you gotta go with, like, uh, comedy, probably, like, you know, Danshi Koko, Sen no Nichijo, um, Minamike, uh, there, there's just so much, like, out there. Uh, definitely, um, I'm also a huge guy on Slice of Life as well. Sean, do more Monster Strike videos? Maybe. Will you play Fate Extra Record and Tsukihime Remake when they come out? Yeah. What's the history behind your character who basically looks like an FGO servant? Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about this design, but uh, it's actually a fan art gifted to me from a fan. Uh, she goes by the name Enekun. I believe um, she is taking commissions right now. I might be wrong on that, but I know she does take commissions every now and then. And uh, I'll leave a link down below for her Twitter account. Definitely follow her. I think she does some amazing art. So yeah, check her out. Would ever want to see Souls like FGO game? Anyways, love watching your content. Uh, thank you for watching the videos. And as for a Souls FGO game, as much as I would love to see that happen, I just don't think it's gonna work for that franchise. <laughs> so how are you enjoying the Legend of Heroes so far? And which characters do you like the most among the liberal roster? Uh, I mean, I've always loved the uh, Kiseki series, the Trail series. Uh, it's just that like I didn't really have the time to continue on after Cold Steel 2. And because of that, I literally, literally didn't remember anything from Cold Steel 1 and 2. And of course, all the games before that. So I made the decision to instead of start 
Cold Steel 3, start from the beginning, and then, you know, play all of it again. And uh, yeah, I love the series. And if you guys are into RPG and story focus games, then I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, but favorite characters from the liberal roster, gotta love Oliver and Estelle. How and when did you discover Valkyria Chronicles? Uh, I was looking for a game on the PlayStation 3 store when, you know, PlayStation 3 came out. And uh, I found the demo for Valkyria Chronicles and I downloaded it, instantly loved it. I went to my local GameStop the next day and found it for 20 bucks, brand new. It was still wrapped and everything. And um, yeah, I instantly fell in love with the game and today it's my favorite game of all times. Have you seen the Camelot movie? If yes, do you like it? I actually made a review video on the Camelot movie which you can check out on my channel. Are you single? Uh, no, I'm actually taken. Do you think Tight Moon and Marvelous Games are done with Fate Extella franchise? And do you see a happy or dark ending for FGO? Uh, well, Tight Moon's new studio, Studio BB, is actually remaking Fate Extella. So, uh, no, they're not done with it. Uh, I'm not sure if Marvelous is done with it or not. Like, I'm not even sure if they're involved with the, the new project, but... Uh, as for a ending, I think happy. Hmm. What type of mic would you recommend for up and coming YouTubers? Uh, honestly, it's all about preference. Like, do you want to go with a USB mic? Do you want to go with like a sound uh, board and everything like that? Uh, personally for me, I started off with a USB mic. I tried the soundboard mic. I didn't really like that, but the USB mics are, you know, I have no problem with them. I mean, this is actually a USB mic. And again, I have no problem with that. Um, if you want to go with a, uh, you know, actually, I might, I might recommend going low budget first. Uh, like for example, maybe try out the uh, Yeti Snowball. I believe that's like a fifty, sixty dollar mic, and it's pretty good actually for, uh, for, for what it is. So uh, try that out first. I personally didn't really like the Yeti Snowball because I always hit it and it would always fall. So that's why I invested in this. Uh, this is actually a $120 mic, the mic alone. Everything else like the stand and this cover here was separate. Uh, the, the cover was like 10 bucks. The stand here was like $100. I highly recommend buying a stand that's at least $100 because the cheap ones, they make noise and they break very easily. Who's your favorite Type Moon character? Uh, the Aozaki sisters. Do you ever feel burnt out of FGO? I'm three years in, but I'm on a five month break and still don't have the motivation to play. I feel like it's the end for me, even though I love the story. Uh, whenever new content comes out, I'm always hype and I'm always looking forward to it, but uh, not gonna lie during reruns I do feel a little burned out so I don't really play uh, I, I don't really go all in on the reruns which in the holy night anime FGO collab I don't work for tight moon so I don't know how old are you and no junasai this can I see what's in your fridge just curious And Quintential quintuplets who's your favorite of the five uh personality wise Ichika design wise Miku thank you for everything you do how is the Gumpla hobby can we see anything you've been working on so I actually have a couple projects of Gumpla that I'm working on right now um, so we have the version called EW uh, wing zero I have it up here because it keeps reminding me that hey I need to make that I also have some other kits over here I have the Gordon from Kotobukiya and then I have, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, Fenice MG. Uh, I actually lost a part for this, so I need to basically buy another Fenice and get that part. I'm really sad about that. Other than that, I have a limited version uh, Gundam Base Unicorn HG. I have an EZ8 MG, a Wing Zero Perfect Grade, which I got from my lovely girlfriend, which I can't thank her enough. She got that. For me as a uh, gift for reaching uh, 30,000 subscribers which is awesome I, I love her for that but other than that uh, I do plan on making other Gumpla I am currently making a, uh, a desk where I can actually stream while making Gumpla so 
look forward to that. How have you been, Kita Sean? Don't overwork yourself and may your future roles be blessed. Thank you for that. That actually is a very nice comment. Like, I, I love seeing comments like that. It definitely lifts up my, uh, my spirit. But uh, not gonna lie, work has been a bit busy, but uh, I'm hanging in there. Who's your favorite trap anime character and why Astolfo? That's why. So there you guys have it. That was my very first Q&A video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and got to know me a little bit more. And uh, again, uh, for my next Q&A video, which I kind of want to do these once a month, um, it'd be really awesome to see some non-FGO related questions so that I can give you guys a more in-depth look into my, I guess, personal life and, you know, my hobbies and stuff like that. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, do comment down below in this video because maybe I'll use them for uh, my next Q&A video. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!